Welcome to Yusuf Bake's talk show and today we have Dr. Shahida Murtaza, an expert in women's issues in India. So let's have a look what she has got for us. So good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I really have no idea when you're watching the show. We have Dr. Shahida uh, Murtaza, and I'm glad to have you here, uh, ma'am. It's, it's, it's really an honor uh, for you, or I should say for me to have you in the show. Uh, Dr. Me. Shahida Tahir, I mean, Murtaza is, uh, uh, is an expert in women's issues and probably will be trying to cover a few over here in this video. So uh, first of all, uh, uh, is it okay if I call you Shahida or is it okay if I call you uh, Dr. Tahira, uh, Dr. Murtaza, sorry. Yes. No, Dr. Murtaza will work? Fine, fine, not a problem. So we have Dr. Murtaza. So Dr. Murtaza, before we start, I would request you to uh, start with you as in what you are, what kind of a personality you have and what are you surrounded with? Hmm. Uh, I work in a university, teach. Okay. And then surrounded with positive people, because enjoy people, those who are positive in their approach. And I've been teaching maybe for the past 30 years, and I enjoy teaching this. I have a sort of, you know, like a very versatile background, science graduate, post-graduation in anthropology. Then I switched over to women's studies. Now I'm teaching women's studies. Okay. So I loved it, though I've not been trained in that previously. But I just chose it and then I love it because there are a lot of issues like I felt we should really care for our own gender. Okay. And yeah. you stay in Hyderabad, am I right? Or you are not? I'm from Hyderabad. But Hyderabad. I spent quite a lot of my time. Again, there is versatility, I told you, in Karnataka. Oh. I did my graduation in Andhra, but Andhra Pradesh, I mean, it was uh, uh, erstwhile. And then went to uh, PG and research I did in Karnataka University, okay. served in Kishipur University, then in Gulbarga University, then here. So about three to four universities I served in different capacities as a researcher and as a teacher. That's so, great. That's great. So I think you have been to, I mean, as you have explained, you had, you know, your time at Gulbar Gulbarga, you had your time at various places in Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh. And, and sometimes uh, I could get a chance to go abroad, like I went to Germany and US. Okay. And then, yeah. Wow. So I, I'm glad. So you're definitely, I think, you know, when you say versatile, you're really colorful and you have a lot to deliver and give. I'm so glad you're here. So let me start, okay, with as you are in South India. And South India has its own, uh, uh, you know, issues when it comes to women like we have in North India and as in India and as in issues we have, let me start with the first thing. I happen to see a lot of cases. First, we touch upon dowry. Something, okay, which we are trying to tackle since a long, 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 long time and we haven't touched or we haven't reached anywhere. Where do you think uh, are we going when it comes to dowry? We're going nowhere. You know, really, I tell you, um, Yusuf, uh, this is a very serious issue. Uh, if you're aware of census of India, just have a look at three census previous. You will realize that the sex ratio is dwindling very badly. That means girl children are disappearing. The women are disappearing from the scenario. It's just one reason. They're considered as burdens. And why burden? It's only the... Oh, one and only reason is dowry, nothing else, nothing else. And we have to fight it to the nail, I'm telling you, to really eradicate this evil, which is belittling uh, women very badly. This uh, Census of India, if you see, you know, like last Census of India 2011, come, it was 940, okay. little better. Right? Previous to that, it was 937, right? Uh, previous to that census, again, 928 upon 1000. So just imagine this is a woman in general. When you come to girl children, it is 914, 920. And this, whatever the reports are coming now 
of 2021, if you're aware, 10 years, once in 10 years, a census happens, it's not quite promising. I'm telling you, Indian, you know, the country itself is red with the blood of grandchildren. Okay. Either you kill them within mother's womb, if by chance they take birth, you never show them to a good doctor, you never educate them, they really become, you know, secondary citizen. Obje just objectification, you see, you see subjugation, you see oppression. Every paper, first thing in the morning, or on the screen, electronic media, you see that women have become really, you know, like pawns in the hands of male. It's because of your doing, because of your doing. Stop this dowry menace, and then you see that they become equal citizens, equal in home, you know, whether it's private sphere or public sphere. So I completely agree with that, Ms. Dr. Mukhtar, but I somewhere feel that as, you know, we being educated, we are not driving this. I somewhere feel that this dowry thing is running since a long time. I'm hearing this since the last 33 years, I should say. I'm, you know, I'm a 33-year-old boy right now. And I can see that this is prolonging. There is no stop to it. There is no comma to it. And I feel this is more in the, the lower social classes, the, the the upper, I think the lower middle class. Am I right in that case? Or is that you no. feel that it, it's everywhere? It's spread I, everywhere. I want to correct you. It, okay. does, it is a high rental on C Reliance industry owner, what, my, what not he has given to his daughter. And then the lower range, they feel that yes, they have done, why not we? And you show off. You show off. That is one of the exhibitionism is something. It should be stopped. People follow. The girls follow. The boys follow. And they, you know, like, they get really acclimatized to all this. They feel that it is normal. So all crimes are getting normalized because of that. So don't just blame. Because the dowry decks you get in the newspaper comes from the poor. Because the rich always, they feel the, you know, belly of their damas. It's no problem. Okay. Here, the problem lies with the lower ranks of the society. Okay. So, the consequences uh, is, are very serious. Fine. It is, it is. I completely agree. Let's move to the second part of this whole talk. Uh, there is this acid attack, which has, you know, which has become some kind of a norm right now, because I have seen this happening at many a places. And usually it is because, uh, you know, a partner happened to say no uh, for marriage or probably something else. Don't you think this this acid, acid attack okay, has increased a lot? And what do you think is the actual reason for it? Why is this acid attack happening psychologically? Please explain. Uh, Yusuf, can I ask you one question? Yeah, please. Can I ask you? Because maybe there are audience also. I would like to ask you, you're a very young guy. Other day, for 16 days, Ministry of Women and Child Development had asked, I don't know how much time you have, but let me talk. Women and Child Development had uh, given a sort of, you know, like, uh, uh, you can say, a sort of instruction to central universities to observe 16 days, uh, you know, like, uh, against uh, gender-based violence. We have to observe the campaign against gender-based violence. I did that as a director center for women's studies. I'm also director center for women's studies where we talk of all this GBV and all that. Then I felt how best I should observe this. I decided, I decided the theme, gender inequality, you know gender anyway, gender inequality, the yawning gap between the law and the justice delivery system. You understand my point? Then I called the human rights activists there, a big man from there, that the chairperson National Commission for Women to answer the most important two acid attack survivors very much on my screen. They were invited because it was online. I tell you, couldn't sleep, couldn't sleep. After watching those girls completely melted, you know, like, and you know, the, uh, they have that cafe, she rose, he rose, kitara, she rose. So if there is one charm foundation, you know, Ashish Shukla is taking care of all this. You must be knowing Ashish. So he's doing marvelous job. He's maybe of your age or younger. Okay. You know, that the week he's doing. So I wanted them to speak their issue. Let the chairperson answer. Let the human right perspective come in that. And the next in the series were the legal experts coming over there, discussing on issue. The third were the cultural matrix, how culture you know, really creates these barriers between and barriers to girl children, the inequality. 
everything, the injustice, everything penetrates from the family. Okay. You tell me, you love a girl, for example, you love a girl. And somehow differences crop up and then you feel that she's not interested at all in you. Do you pick up an acid bottle and throw? Tell me you. Will Definitely you? not. I, I wouldn't really. I mean, I want not even my wildest dreams. You tell me why. Because you've been socialized, trained properly at home. The upbringing was good. Now, with these guys, they never accept no from a girl. This is the problem that That's we bring up issue. our boys, that you are all, you are everything, you are second to God, you are God rather. Nobody should say no to you. He will not accept because it is our mistake. We have not brought our boys on the same, you know, level like we do girls. Girls ko hamesha yehi bola jata hai ki you born to so. Mo ban karo, kaan se suno aur mo khamush rena hai tumhara. You have to just what? Tolerate. Or Lokya Kahenge. Hana? Lokya Kahenge. If you open. You have to be Sati Savitri. Or Bahi training hame di gay hai. Whether I am earning lakhs or highly educated, maybe come or Bahi Jaru Pakro or Pirwai. Nobody will prepare a cup of tea. When we ask, oh, hen pecked hai. Husband knows ko chai bada ke tea. You know, this division of labor, the upbringing, gender construction, all our socialization process, we have to take care of that. We okay. have to, you know, we always tell girls what to do. We never tell boys what not to do. This, our uh, attitude should change. So Dr. Murtuza, uh, in short, what you're trying to say is that this whole, uh, you know, uh, show off of boys being the king of house or, you know, the girls being the servant of house, okay, this attitude which we have or the psyche which we have has to end somewhere. And this has to start I should say that, you know, I don't know where we are going with this issue, but somewhere there has to be a full stop and people like you should really take this opportunity or just take we this, you know. We, we, we whole, go uh, to the hinterlands of areas. I go to slum. I'm working in slum. We okay. create gender sensitization program. We conduct a talk in their own language, in their own, uh, what you call lingo. To so feel the old so too in the university system. Tell you. We have University Grants Commission Center for, you know, like uh, higher education, what you call We train, uh, we sensitize the staff and uh, refresher courses. You know, we have uh, orientation courses for the teachers of university, teachers of higher education. So colleges, college teachers and all. Sometimes they just throw like pepper and salt people like us on gender, speak something, do sensitize. When I go and ask them, start. They, they just start laughing. Are madam, Dori to ye kya hai? Ye to common hai. Dori to lehna hai. Jama karna hai apne beti ke liye bhi. Aise kese ho sakta hai ki we don't take. That means we don't have value. I tell you one of the very closest of in my family, little distance, the boy calls me. He said, auntie, I don't want to take dowry because I have been, you know, like uh, sensitized about it, how bad it is. I should say no. I'm a young boy. Then I said, tell your mother. Say no, it's very really good thing. I said no, she says, she's persuading me to say yes to Dobby. Why? They will think that you're not a normal man. You understand my point? You're not a complete man. That's why you are saying no. You should be, you know, like patriarch. You know patriarchy? Male dominant society. You are, whether you earn or don't earn, you, you spend on liquor and sleep. What happens to your servant and my servant, you see? What happens? They all women walk and carry the salary, run home. They are the bread earner. And what does he do? You say, Kya kar rahe hai, daddy? Daddy kuch bhi nahi kara. Bhi you say, yes, he's a landlord or this and that. What about mother, house, wife? From morning till night, what tall work she, she does. You understand who gets up early, sleeps late? Who does all this work? It is invisibility of women's work. You don't, you don't see it. When I prepare chapati, you eat, it can't be seen. Whereas when you prepare this, you see the father has prepared it in the industry. <laughs> you understand my point? I wash my I do everything. But Dr. Murtuza, I'll take one more, you know, very burning issue right now. Some people try to say that, you know, these things are just, you know, some feminist move. It's just uh -huh. a feminist move where, you know, they're trying to, 
put the men down and you know show that they equal no. to the above is, is that the case am i putting you down yes no i definitely you're not I'm, but i'm just asking you you know something because that's what we people it's, hear it is from your mind it is from your mind this women are not anti men feminist or not anti men there are many schools of thought many schools yeah. of thought in feminism too we have liberal we have radical we have marxist we have socialist feminist so radical out of all this you know if you like simon de beauvoir you should read the second sex or read sexual politics of kate millet i request you to read really read those you will learn a lot you will realize that this politics of discrimination subjugation one upmanship all this is because of sexual politics that one sex is up it is because of the patriarchy it is your dominance over it nobody see when i'm telling you decision making power property power who enjoys why can't you give it to your wife mother or daughters or sisters equal how many of the women in india have the right to own a, a you know bank mein account how many mary apni colleagues ko because served in three universities still cannot forget one of my colleagues was you know like pregnant thi to maine kaha zara fruits le liya karo de to bolu yes yes my husband gets me every day banana yes i said why don't you have in pregnancy you take banana it's not a fruit for pregnant women and how about the money i think you have nahi nahi every day my husband is so good he gives me 20 rupees to come in red bus and go to university teacher i am telling you now i'm not talking anything that you are bad i'm telling you are bringing is bad we have to tackle the issue from the childhood why do we say that bachcha jab table clean karta hai to are any female job let your sister do you know if you broom then it is when i am earning never it is considered a manly job that why do you have to work no you have to work and then do this double job you know double ji party we have to work at home also never it is considered why do i have to divide the division of labor should never be there should never be there see you so if you have to divide two things you realize that's the difference between sex and gender sex is biology the parts of my body anatomy physiology nobody can change we have no control over it because of some parts of body i have certain biological role to play right and you because of those parts you have to play a certain biological role a very permanent nobody can change nobody has control over it though some people go cut and then refix and doing that is different thing but naturally we have no control now but apart from that is there any intellectual difference no definitely no we are born with the same capacity so the physical strength maybe if i build you know gym and all maybe i too will get it no difference in intellectual thinking feeling it is also wrong when we say that yusuf pro raha hai auraton ki tarah kyu dard nahi hota yusuf ko dard to hota hai the way we bring up you know like sharukh khan always say mujhe aajkal bathroom bahut jana pad raha hai mere har film fail fail ho rahi hai to bathroom ka sahara leta hai sharukh khan rone ke liye you know that this is so wonderful so what i say is the differentiation the discrimination starts from the childhood are tum ladki ho nahi karo ka itna bada list tum ladka ho kya ladkiyon ki tarah ghar mein baithte ho chudiyan pehen ke bahar jao to wo kisi ko rape bhi karke aaya to it's what we were telling about this acid attack victims i mean survivors were telling we have to we have to educate and sensitize the families so uh, say kya kya share hai mera beta kar liya beta ab chalo ho gaya beti karo to that's bad that's, that's karo, actually very 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 So uh, let the people like Ravas who are listening, let them realize that feminists are not anti-men. Out of this pain, radical feminism, you find that they did feel, they did speak about that men should never be in the life of you know of a woman at any angle, at any corner. They should not be there because they are the problem creator. But I don't believe in that. I It's believe so I'm radical feminist. I believe in that. I believe that if I bring up my child in a proper way, like the, I have my son, he leads, he does everything. Why should? Okay. Okay, Doctor Mudusa. I mean, as we have two more issues to take care of. Okay, as you know, we have less time. Let me get to the next know. issue, if you don't mind. This is a little interesting. So uh, I feel you know that recently there is a boom. Okay, where people say that you know a girl child or women are taking our jobs. 
this this is something which i've heard a lot from you know especially rickshaw drivers because i could see that there are many you know drivers okay who are there and there are many women okay who are getting into the driving now they're driving buses they're driving rickshaws and and you know it's visible right that was not visible before but it's visible right now do you feel that that's the case or do you think it's just another move where we'll be able to empower women empowerment is not just putting them you know on a rickshaw or driving seat on this is not empowerment empowerment is uh, give them the right to decide about their life what they want in their life decision making power is very very important go and ask the driver of an auto rickshaw i mean who over the taxi driver lady or the one who drives the flights you know like a, a flight uh, this thing ask them we have done the work on sexism in the air we call them sexism in the air you know sexism <laughs> they don't think that's a new term which i have no lot of you right in that in the seventh heaven they are no this is there so please remove from your mind that giving them i'm telling you my own example i may be earning one and half to two lakh per month right right have a bit about my husband whether he serves me whether i should forget my child care whether i should forget all those cleaning brooming and all that nobody does it so public sphere and private sphere so when marxist we say gender blind they are yes. they said give them a chance to women to earn you know and then everything will be equal okay. he was gender blind he never realized at home we need to change that is culture कल्चरल जो अपब्रिंगिंग होती है ना उसको बदलना बहुत जरूरी है तुम चाहे मुझे लखपति बना दो यू मेक मी एल यू नो मे बी मिलियनियर बट एज लॉन्ग एज माय हस्बैंड्स माइंडसेट एंड माय अदर वुमेन्स माइंडसेट मेरी इन लॉज का माइंडसेट मेरा अपना माइंडसेट नॉट टू गो अगेंस्ट इज यू नो द वे वी हैव बीन ब्रिंगिंग अप आवर चिल्ड्रन मियर इकोनॉमिक लिबर्टी इज नॉट गोइंग टू सर्व यू मच बिकॉज़ शी नीड्स टू हैव द स्पेंडिंग कैपेसिटी आल्सो Okay. Yeah, it's a serious issue. <laughs> it is. It is. It is. I, I don't know. It. Maybe I don't know what you people may enjoy every day, but having a serious talk on this. So it is. It is a serious talk. I mean, that, that's how my my audience. You know, they are very matured, and we take such questions, and that too with a very you know broad smile. Let me ask you the last question right now. Now, as you said, okay, there is. Uh, I mean, there is a gap between the sex right now. Okay, the ratio. the male and the female and that's because of the infanticide uh, the you know the female fetus is being uh, i should say uh, uh, you know terminated and it's happening a lot and the reason being that it's a girl now first of all i mean it's my logic don't you feel that it's about the guy when when a guy and a girl meets okay it's the guy who puts the seed and the the decision of you know a, a baby being a boy or a girl is up to the man up to the male Not the female. Am I right in that case? And the second question, you know, just the sub question here. Don't you feel that this is something which we have to work on? Though I have seen a lot of, uh, uh, you know, shows where we are trying to make sure that, yeah, the you know, the girl child is safe. How far have we gone, and how much do you think we have to work now? Hmm. For all your question, one solution, only one solution. Your mindset, your thinking has to change. you should be sensitized you know properly about that this child is also a human being it is because of the dowry demand this is all happening we have that uh, you know prenatal diagnostic you know test and all those yes, things yes. back and then you see in the gynecological chambers you know all that board that you will be penalized doctor will be penalized if you try to know the sex of the child all that humbug the doctors also when we interviewed in rajasthan and uh, then we have in maharashtra male doctors being you know like uh, doing all these indulging in these abortions and all that you must have known anyway you are with the media when we asked them they said seema i am also part of the society i know i have to protect this woman pregnant women's life i mean marital life also if i do not tell her you know this again this pregnancy of the girl child if she delivers her marriage is in good she will have to be thrown out of the house she will be thrown so to protect her 
I know the social norms. That's why I have to do this stealthily, all these things. So you have laws in place. You have constitutional rights in place. Yet it is happening because of the culture. Culture has to, the culture matrix plays devil, I tell you. And it is because of your upbringing, my upbringing. My child will not do, you will not do. My brother has not taken dowry. Never, not a piece of cloth. They say, I'm not man enough. Am I not? Why should I take from my wife? So each one, if we bring up our children, I tell you, these all do not have to be, but this is happening. We are becoming too materialistic. You know, our approach is like that. I think mere law is not going to, has failed. To an extent we could, to an extent we could, because there were huge number of pity sites, you know, at one I go, I tell you, Spend 500 now to serve 50,000 liter. Open, open. My God, that's, that's like openly. Spend 500 for abortion, you save 50,000 tomorrow. All those songs, if you go, because when I go to Indolands, I go to rural areas, see the Devadasi system. You see the Sati, you see the widow. Why there is no male, you know, gender in that? Video ka koi opposite tumne soda kya? Mard jab uski bivi marti hai to kya kehlata hai? What do you call him? Do you have any concept? Kya? If I if I'm not wrong, it's widower. Uh, uh, whether he is untouchable during no, that he, period? Definitely, he is uh, not you know kept the way women are kept when they are widows. Okay, he didn't keep waving the head. We still and move around. You see Sati, ye to apne husband ko itna chahti thi na, apne aap jal gai. Koi mard apne bivi ko nahi chaha aur ja ke sata nahi hua. You have any Sati ka pose? Uh, uh, no, definitely not. But I think Dr. Murtuza, it's a very old concept. There's a case where you found a man dying on the pyre, by a funeral pyre of a wife. Definitely not. Always a woman do. And then you put us on the puja, puja niya kar dete ho, temple bana dete ho, marne ke baad. Jeene do yaar. <laughs> okay, okay. So, Dr. Murtuza, I, I completely agree. Your, uh, I should say, your aggression is valid with what I'm seeing, but somewhere, okay, I feel like we have reformed. No, I hate saying that. I okay. want that all, all my men should be very, very good human okay. beings. See okay. the rights perspective. Your duty, duty, or rights are posika. You have right over this property, this, this, and this woman also. My God, my I, I'm telling you one thing. There'll be a lot of questions in the comments. I definitely know that. Uh, uh, but I would just say, uh, Doctor, uh, I mean Murtuza, as we're about to end this complete talk right now, anything, any last, uh, uh, I should say, uh, your message to my audience, your fans, your relatives, and your friends, and the whole India. Do you have, do you have any connected people there? Do you have fans? I definitely, I would definitely connect with you uh, for, uh, you know, uh, for, I know, whatever I could uh, do for uh, your mission, I should say. I'll definitely make sure I get in touch with you. So, uh, Dr. Bhuzar, do you think, okay, there is some message you'd like to give as we are, like, uh, about to end uh, the COVID? Yes. That's another CBS. issue we have, by the way. Let's not forget. Yes, I don't know how many minutes you have. You should read Simon de Boa, a French writer's book, The Second Sex, We Are. Okay. You are the first sex and the second sex like this. She says, uh, one is not born, but becomes a woman. We are made what we are, right? Lower, there is that and all. So what I want to say is, give the space for the women also as human being. Please okay. consider them an individual with all rights, like the way you are, right? Give them that, bring up your children in a, on an equality basis. Equality, equity, and justice is three more important you know, like uh, aspects where I believe that the humanity exists and we need not have to have laws and this and that, okay? Thank you for uh, being on my show. I'm really happy, uh, uh, Dr. Shahida uh, Murtaza. It was nice talking to you. And uh, I am sorry in case if there's any error from my side, in, you know, in case if I'm talking about anything of that. So the reason is, I know this is a very, uh, uh, I should say, uh, very sensitive issue. And, uh, you know, one has to be very aware of what is happening and how you have to react to it. So yeah. I just want to apologize. Uh, I mean, sorry, 
in case if I happen to say the thing, okay, which not you felt. At all. So not at all. I'm happy that uh, Mona has introduced uh, me to you, and we need to talk more about not many youngsters are aware of. You know what is happening? Everything is getting normalized. Every day, you see that the news is coming. It's the tip of the iceberg. Hai. How many of us go and report? Even for that matter, me. You know, like office uh, environment, you do face sexism. You do observe because I was chairing the committee against sexual harassment. Very, itna sharif insan kaise ladki ko chhed sakta hai, kaise rape kar sakta hai. All type of, you know, you you can't just. Uh, it is getting so normalized. So, kya hua chheda? So, kya hua? I'm a mark. You know, that has to be removed. That has to be raised. You know. Like I'm different, I'm second to God. <laughs> anyway, between you and me, you are, you never committed any mistake. I'm happy to meet you really. I hope I am of good to your program. I don't know what type of program, I mean, you are, you do. You are a gem, I should say. My viewers would learn a lot today. Uh, and you know, every time- yes, they watch. a different type. <laughs> okay. okay, Dr. Muthuza, thank you. Thank you for being a part of the show. And I am so glad I'm with you. Uh, you have a great life and let's see where we meet in the circle of life. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. I enjoyed it.